Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about branding and finding your voice. There's so many elements that go into branding. A lot of it can be um, branding your website or branding your sales funnel, branding yourself, branding your business. It, finding your voice, we're going to talk more about um, a personal branding. And so we're going to concentrate on that. I do have a playlist started that make sure you check it out at the end of the video. Hopefully by the time you watch this, there'll be several in there. But I think this is a really, really important part of your business that sometimes we keep glazing over you keep hearing about how you have to build your brand and your message and all these things and when you're new if, if you're not really sure what that means or what you're looking for you kind of put that on the back burner and glaze over it and move on and do other things. And those other things are important and need to be done, but this is too. Because once you establish your voice of who you are in your business, then people will know you for it. And I'm gonna give you a couple examples as we go through. I have 13 different voices that you might choose. I'm giving them to you so you can start thinking about it. You might want to do a little bit more research, but this is to kind of kick you off and get you started. One of the reasons you might say, well, everybody keeps telling me to be authentic and be myself. Well, aren't there a lot of elements about you and who you are? Maybe you're really funny. Maybe you're really humorous, but maybe you have a serious side of you too. So which part of you is going to establish your voice in your business. Um, always being serious and then being humorous might not um, resonate with your audience because they're, you know, serious people might be attracted to you, but then don't like the humor part. And just as an example, but let me give you 13 different voices that you might. I'll, I'll have them up here as I say them. Some of them I'll elaborate on and some I won't because they're pretty obvious. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, professional. You might want to come across as very professional. So your whole demeanor, your voice, and the way you speak, the way you write, the way you interact would be on a very professional level. You, that would even include your style of clothes that you might always want to wear a suit or um, business clothes or, you know, a dress as a woman or pantsuits. Um, you, that might be the personal brand that you want to establish with people. And that comes through in your voice as well. Number two, you just might want to be friendly. Think of people that are just friends with everyone and they, you know, you just want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with them and, and that might be who you are, who you want to resonate with. Notice I keep saying who you want to resonate with. It all is about who are you targeting? Who are you trying to resonate with? These are the people you're going to attract. You might not want professional if you're selling something that's lots of fun, right? It, it just might not mix. So Think about that as well, and you can pull that out of your personality. You, you, we've all got different, you know, different voices, okay? Um, number two, friendly. You're just that fun, friendly person, and you're going to resonate with people like that. Number three, maybe you're selling, um, I, I just saw a woman that had a uh, YouTube channel about housekeeping and how to clean your house. So you might be service oriented, you know, and, and she comes across as very professional. She knows what she's doing and she's always providing you with tips and things on how you can clean your house. So it's a very service oriented, or maybe you have a nonprofit channel and you're trying to teach people, um, you know, you want them to give to your, to your organization. So you're going to be very service oriented and trying to um, reach those hearts out there that want to give. Okay. And so that's the kind of person you're going to be as well. And I keep saying channel, it doesn't have to be on a channel. I say that because I have a YouTube channel. That's my platform, but you want to do it on whatever platform that you're using. It could be podcast, blog, or whatever. Um, number four, you might want to be very authoritative. Um, some people respond well to that. They want somebody just to tell them what to do. Um, I am a teacher uh, by, by uh, job, <laughs> real job still. I'll let you know one day when I quit. But I have some, I'm a lead teacher, and I have some of my teachers that are under me that want me to tell them what to do. Um, and I don't say that in a negative way, but that's their personality. They want somebody to be very authoritative, tell them exactly what to do, and step by step, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Then I have a group that says, leave us alone. I am a professional, I know what I'm doing, tell me what you want me to do and I'll go get it done. Now, of course, I had to choose a style of my leadership within that situation, but that's an example of where you know, you have the authoritative leader and then, or brand and then not. Um, what about 
technical. You might have a um, business where you are sharing technical equipment on how to make YouTube videos and you want to come across as very uh, professional, technical, it kind of goes together and you're an expert in that field and how to work a camera and, and do all the f-stops and all those things. I don't know anything about that. I just remember from a class I took once, couldn't tell you what that means, but you would be very um, an expert and you know have a lot of technical things that you'd like to share. And again, you're going to attract and resonate that audience that wants to hear about that. Number six, promotional. You might have a promotional voice. It kind of makes me think of the used car salesman type of person. I've met people like that and they that's their personality and that's who they are and that's who they, res might, you might want to resonate like that within your business and have that style. You will attract people, I promise you. You just have to decide who you're going to be, what your voice is within your business. What about conversational? Again, it kind of goes with friendly, I guess. Um, that person that's very conversational, they can start a conversation with anybody. They just have that personality. Is that the kind of voice that you want? Is that who you want to attract? Um, we also have serious. Maybe you want to be a very serious person. Now, the next two kind of go hand in hand. Are you going to be really loud? Or are you going to be soft spoken? Or maybe in the middle where I'm at, right? Um, I, I have to give you a story. I met somebody that is in a business and it, it's just interesting. I, I want to share this because sometimes your voice will develop by accident. This person likes to scream. And I remember the first time I went through a motivational training with this person and I was like, wow, um, it worked for that person. But I remember in the comments, people going, stop yelling. That's so unprofessional. And I thought, well, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Well, later when I watched this person in, in a, um, on a podcast, I was listening and they were sharing the story of why they started to yell. They said, I was working in my house and my children were making noises in the background. And I was on a training, um, trying to train some people on, on, um, live and I heard them and I thought, oh my gosh, if I can hear them, they can hear them. So he goes, I started yelling and just, a, you know, so people couldn't hear and it kind of kept happening. And all of a sudden I was on one time and people were saying, weren't you going to yell? And I was like, oh, <laughs> anyway, the point is it became part of that person's branding. They started to yell and people love it. And, you know, and then they got all pumped up again. There were people that didn't like it, but then don't follow somebody like that. Follow the person that, that resonates with you and people are going to follow you because they resonate. And of course you have your soft spoken people. And I've seen people like that have comments saying, we can't hear you speak up, but that's who they are. And you're going, you're going to have like-minded people that will follow that um, of course then we have informative you might be you know that person that just kind of has all that knowledge and comes across that way and um, the last two you have humorous humorous I think you can pull off if you're a humorous person I am NOT a person that tells jokes my husband can tell jokes off the cuff he's got that um, that knack for being able to you know tell a joke and he and it's sometimes it's like the kind of person that just kind of sneaks it in and you're like what and 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 i'm like um explain that to me you know and he's like oh it's not funny if i have to explain it my point is i'm not going to be telling you jokes okay i'm not going to be humorous because that's not in my nature i but that doesn't mean i don't resonate with people that tell jokes or have humor but i'm not going to try to be something that i'm not um, and that's what I, th what I want to point out to you, even though I love humor and I love to hear it, especially sarcastic humor, I can't pull it off. Okay. I can retell a joke and it's not funny the second time. Um, and a lot of times, like I said, I might have to explain it to you or you, you to me, but, um, don't be what you're not either. You know, you still want to be authentic and you still want to be that, that part of who you are, you just want to um, elaborate on that part of your voice. And the last one, now I get offended by this, but offended in the last one, potty mouth. I can be offended if somebody is like screaming at me and saying the F word in a training, but I also understand that are pe there are people that resonate with that. And so, you know, it is free speech and I understand that, but I also have, it's also my freedom to walk away, right? And not listen to somebody if, if I don't resonate with them. Sorry about that. I just blinked out for a minute. So how do you decide? 
one, you don't want to sound like everyone else. So you do want to be authentically you. But then, like I said, there's different parts of you there. You know, maybe you're good at being serious. Maybe you're soft spoken. Uh, maybe though you're very friendly. Maybe you're good at creating conversations with people. So pick that part of you that you really want to be your voice of your business and then elaborate on that okay and then that's the crowd that you're trying to get to resonate with you people who are like that are going to come to you because they're going to feel connected to you with that voice um i probably have a teacher voice a lot um, my husband even gets on me for that you've got your teacher voice um it's it's who i am <laughs> so it probably comes out a lot but i think this is really important i don't want you to put overthink it but at the same time, I, I think you need to know that it is very important. You don't want to copy other people and try to be like them. You might see other people and say, hey, I like the way that they're friendly, um, the way they come across, but then bring out your friendliness, not theirs, if that makes sense. I'll go back to that person who was loud. I have seen other people within that community try to copy that person because there's certain um, words that this person will say. I'm trying not to copy it now, so you know I don't want to pick up on who it is. But the point is, I've noticed them trying to copy some actions and some terms and i'm like oh stop that's not who you are that's so and so um so be that really resonated with me to be careful about that i have some of my favorite people i love to watch and i love to follow and i love their their um their voice and their persona but i can't be them i want to pull out who i am and then resonate with my audience if that makes sense so think about that i i think this is really important that we don't um think about enough but then we don't want to overthink it either. So hopefully that was helpful to you as you're growing in your business and you're deciding who you are and who you want to be when you grow up, right? <laughs> who do I want to be when I grow up? Um, obviously this is important. So put it down in the comments, which one resonated with you? Who do you think you are, um, want to be, or want to, to elaborate on your voice when you are speaking, writing, or on videos? Give us some uh, hints down there and maybe there's something I didn't cover, but I just wanted to give you a list to help you start to think about it. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.